a chemical equation describes what happens in a chemical reaction the equation identifies the reactants that are starting materials and products that are resulting substances the formulae of the participants the phases of the participants namely solid liquid or gaseous and the amount of each substance balancing a chemical equation refers to establishing the mathematical relationship between the quantity of reactants and products there are essentially three steps to the process step 1 write the unbalanced equation step 2 balance the equation step 3 indicate the states of matter of the reactants and products let us discuss these steps in detail step 1 write the unbalanced equation we cannot write a reaction until we know what is it going to form to write unbalanced equation we must know reactants and products in the chemical reaction chemical formulae of reactants are listed on the left hand side of the equation products are listed on the right hand side of the equation reactants and products are separated by putting an arrow between them to show the direction of the reaction reactions at equilibrium will have arrows facing both directions step 2 balance the equation draw boxes around all the chemical formulae you are drawing those boxes so that you will be sure not to mess around with the formulae to balance the equation make an element inventory that is note the number of atoms both before and after the reaction write numbers in front of each of the boxes until the inventory for each element is the same both before and after the reaction step 3 indicate the states of matter of the reactants and products use g for gaseous substances use s for solids l for liquids aq for species in solution in water you can also use up arrow for gases and down arrow for precipitates let us see an example of writing a balanced chemical equation with the help of these steps write the chemical reaction when silver nitrate reacts with hydrogen sulfide step 1 write the unbalanced equation we must know that when silver nitrate reacts with hydrogen sulfide it forms hydrogen nitrate and silver sulfide as the precipitate let us write reactants that is silver nitrate and hydrogen sulfide on the left hand side write the products that are hydrogen nitrate and silver sulfide on the right hand side separate the reactants and products by putting an arrow between them to indicate the direction of the reaction step 2 balance the equation draw boxes around all the chemical formulae you are drawing boxes so that you will be sure not to mess around with the formulae to balance the equation make an element inventory that is note the number of atoms both before and after the reaction on the reactant side ag has one atom n has one atom since it is o3 there are three atoms of o since it is h2 there are two atoms of h and one atom of s on the product side h has one atom n has one atom since it is o3 there are three atoms of o since it is ag2 there are two atoms of ag and one atom of s thus there is imbalance for two elements namely ag and h 
Let us try to balance Ag first. Since there are two atoms of silver after the reaction, let us put two before AgNO3. Since we have two molecules of AgNO3, we have two atoms of Ag, two atoms of N and six atoms of O. If we compare the number of atoms for each element, we see that there are two atoms of N in the reactants and one atom of N in the products. Similarly, there are six atoms of O in reactants and three atoms of O in products. Also, there are two atoms of H in reactants and one atom of H in products. All other elements have equal number of atoms in reactants and products. Thus, there is imbalance for three elements, namely N, O and H. It can also be noticed that count for these elements before the reaction is twice that after the reaction. Hence, let us put 2 before HNO3. Let us again make an element inventory that is note the number of atoms both before and after the reaction. It is seen that all the elements have equal number of atoms in reactants and products. Yahoo! Since the count of atoms for all elements before and after the reaction is equal, the reaction is balanced now. But our job is not yet over. Step 3. Indicate the states of matter of the reactants and products. Since black silver sulfide gets deposited after the reaction, we have to indicate it by a down arrow. Thus, finally the reaction looks like as given below. 2HNO3 plus H2S give 2HNO3 plus Ag2S as a precipitate.